Hi guys, this is Guru from TechZ India and today I'm gonna review a special phone, the Intel Zolo X900. Zolo X900, the brand's introductory offering, is the world's first mobile phone with the power of Intel inside. The stylish and sleek new Zolo X900 is all about speed and performance and designed to provide a responsive, immersive and engaging experience to address the need for a dynamic smartphone for today's generation. But does it live up to the hype? Here is our review. Intel never took the smartphone market seriously, until now. I have to say, they did not give attention to this big market. Before they could, the world was dominated with phones running ARM processors and it still is. Nevertheless, Intel is here and is here to make a mark. The Zolo X900 is a product of the partnership of Intel with Lava Mobiles. The main specifications of this device include 1.6 GHz Intel Atom processor with hyper-threading technology and with 1 GB of RAM. Note that this is a single core phone. It comes with an 8 megapixel camera with a built in panorama and burst mode, which can take up to 10 shots in less than a second. It also has a 400 megahertz graphics engine for all the gaming and multimedia purposes. On the left hand side of the device, there is a micro HDMI slot. In the bottom corner you have the speaker. In the front of the device we have a 4.3 inch TFT LCD screen with an impressive resolution of 1024 by 600 and it comes with a Corning Gorilla Glass 1. There is a VGA camera up front with the speaker grill and sensors. There is a microphone below the screen, capacitive buttons, back, menu, home, search. The top of the device is a power button and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The right hand side of the device has volume rockers, micro SIM tray and a dedicated camera button. The back of the device has an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash and a secondary noise cancellation mic. This device is running on Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. However, we are not sure whether this device would be able to upgrade to Jelly Bean. The most impressive decision by Lava Mobiles in making this device was not to put a custom skin on the Android. They have shipped the device with naked Android and that is the best part. Moving around the device feels smooth thanks to Intel processor. The device in my testing did not show any sort of lag. I even compared this device with my daily driver Samsung Galaxy S3 running on Cyanogen Mod 10 and was quite impressed with the app launch speeds on the Zolo. All the basic apps such as messaging, dialer, contacts, settings are literally untouched and you would feel as if you were using a Nexus device. Watching movies and videos on this device is okay, not that great. The LCD produces some decent colors but nowhere close to the other LCD panels out there in the market or even the better AMOLED screens. The device comes with a camera that is surprisingly good. It has a bunch of features such as burst mode, panorama which are built into it. The device does take some good photographs that are usable. It sometimes tends to overexpose the scene but in general conditions produces good and sharp images. The video recording of the device is at a stable rate of 30 fps in good light conditions but may reduce under low light. Web browsing on the Zolo is good. As you can see I am loading up gsmarena.com and the device is connected to Wi-Fi and the page loads quickly. The brightness on this device is kept low but due to the LCD panel the text is not visible through the video. The pinch to zoom gesture works quite well but there is a slight lag while doing so. Gaming on this device is good although not exact excellent as one can expect. As you can see I am loading up Fruit Ninja and the device handles the game well. Well, well what's that note noting is that few apps might not run on this device as they might not be optimized to run on Intel phones. Temple Run is one such example. Intel claims that its processor with hyper-threading technology optimizes the battery usage and I agree as the battery life on this device is more than acceptable. With just a 1460 mAh battery, I have able to run the device for more than a day which is very good. So Intel has put up a good show and vision to occupy the smartphone space with Zolo. At least hoping so. It is right now priced at Rs. 17,500 MRP. What I like about this device is that it is comparatively faster than the HTC and Sony devices 
out there in the same price range. What I don't like about the device is the screen. It feels like there is a gap between the screen and the panel inside. Tixi India's total score for the first Intel device is a solid 3.8 out of 5. For a phone less than 20,000 rupees, you would not go wrong. Thanks for watching the review of Intel Zolo X900. For more updates from the world of technology, make sure you follow us on facebook.com slash techzindia. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and stay subscribed to TechZ India.